Hello people, today we're taking a look at a game called Full Bore. This goes on the list of games that is in my Steam library for some reason that I have no clue about and um, I'd never checked out before, so we're gonna do it right now. It's apparently a game about being a boar and digging things, which is amazing. Choose your adventurer. Hildy, she's a boar. Friedrich, he's a boar too. Is there any other adventurer? Oh, we just get to choose the gender of our boar. Uh, Friedrich, who apparently is still a boar, is going to be our boar friend. He looks quite dangerous. Um, I don't know if you've ever... Ooh! We appear to be digging into the ground here. Can we jump? Mm, I assume we can jump somehow. But I'm not 100% certain how. Yes, that appears to be a danger sign. That's great. Um, okay. Do we just, oh my word, are those landmines everywhere? Um, let's, let's just commit ourselves to the depths. Hello? Are boars good at landing on their feet? I don't think that's a thing. I mean, I'm pretty sure I've never seen a boar survive a fall this uh, far. I'm pretty sure I haven't actually seen a legitimate boar ever because... You know, I really do try to avoid ever having contact with boar because boar are actually incredibly dangerous creatures they are like ridiculously good at um goring people and i don't like that oh check it we're in a laboratory we're gonna be like the subject of some sort of boar tests somehow the boar's body actually survived the entire fall huh I'm gonna guess we just got reanimated by this machine, which I guess is a good thing. Oh, check it. We've got rising platforms, nice. We can dig by digging like this. Okay, cool. So we've got the ability to dig, we got the ability to drop down. Can we jump? I don't even know if we can jump or not. That's it's kinda hard to tell. I'm sure there's some way to jump somewhere. I just haven't figured it out yet and the game hasn't told us, but uh, actually, I was gonna say, but boars are known for jumping. However, I, I'm pretty sure boars are not known for jumping. There we go. Okay, so we don't even jump, we just climb. That actually makes a lot more sense. Given that... What? We can rewind. What the heck? Since when did boars have the ability to rewind? That is insane. I mean, I like it. I, I appreciate the fact that our boar is capable of some form of rewinding, but at the same time, I feel like that is not a natural ability of the boar. Um, okay. So, we appear to be trapped in a boar uh, prison cell of some sort. I'm certain we can get out of here somehow. Is he just slamming his head on the ground over and over again? Huh. Well, that's nice. Well, I say we can get out of here somewhere. We can obvi- Somehow. We can obviously do that. Ooh, stomp? Oh, nice. I mean, we can obviously get out by using our rewind ability, which is just- I mean, that's where it's at, because I feel like that's quite a helpful thing overall. But, um... You know, apparently a sand pit is enough to actually stop- Oh, my word. Is that falling on us? Oh, yeah, that would almost definitely have fallen on us. Okay. So, to add to the list of uh, things that are bad for boars, uh, we have sand pits. We have incredibly long drops, which are... I mean, I, I didn't think I had to state that one, but I'm not certain that everyone is aware that boars have issues with really long drops. I mean, they are pretty robust creatures. Oh, we can push that. Nice. Okay, okay. Oh, I see. So we need to push this over here now. Friedrich, you are doing a beautiful job. Is that a gem? He's got some form of gemstone, which I presume is something that we want, but it's hard to tell. Oh. I was, I was going to ask if a boar um, can swim or not, but I guess the boar doesn't actually have to swim given the platforms. What is this? Now, I'll say on the one hand, it's definitely a doorway, but it looks pretty darn ominous. There's something... Oh, I guess there's just a purple thing in every door, but 
generally, I don't like doors that end with purple stuff. Because purple stuff is uh, kind of concerning overall. I, I'm just going to note. It usually means some form of antediluvian threat. What is this? Wait. Wait. Can we, as a boar, actually read things? This I feel like this is not a standard thing for a boar, but Friedrich is some sort of amazing, like, super talented boar person. Um, I feel like he's just an exception. This appears to be the uh, site director Schrodinger. Okay, cool. Uh, ni nice reference. Uh, the center for the alterations. We can't triangulate the source from here, and that means one of two things. It's very strong or it's very close. One last rocket is being prepped to take detection equipment far away so we can finally get some answers. And you know, you live in strange times when it's easier to send something into orbit than it is to travel a few dozen miles over land. Yeah, that does sound like a weird time. Um, as a boar who only got about a few meters uh, from the starting point before falling deep into the depths of the earth, uh, I completely understand that. Did we just get in a rocket? I mean, I thought I was going to walk through the rocket, but apparently that's not a thing. Friedrich, please don't stick your head out of that. You are really risking it, Friedrich. Was that... Was that another boar over there? That was almost certainly another boar over there. Is there a boar civilization down here? Hey, boar civilization, I'm here to conquer you. Or just, you know, interact with you? Oh, okay, yep, definitely a boar civilization. Who are you? What was all that racket? Oh, wait a moment. Uh, how did you get in here? Uh, I took the elevator, you fool. Um, it's right over there. That door's to the vault. Uh-huh. Thief brigand, empty your pockets. Oh, how unsophisticated. Um, I don't have any pockets. I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm just a boar. Uh, I'm not wearing any clothes like you are. Oh, you haven't got any? Exactly. Quite. Hmm, you're only carrying a single gem. Clever, you must have hidden the rest. In that case, you are to work in my mind until you replace every gem of my considerable fortune. Nothing like hard work to inspire honesty. That and the interest I'm charging you. No, you're charging me interest. Get out of here. Can we just punch this guy in the face? I feel like we can dig through stone. We, we can totally deal with Gulin Bursty. Enough chatter. Our four-boar Dean will set you straight. He's a grizzled fellow outside. Oh. Okay. Bye, dude. Um, I didn't steal your cash monies. There was a thief in there that wasn't me, but, I mean, whatever you say, mate. Hey. Moles. Hey, Mole. How's it going? Um, I guess moles are the equivalent of accountants around here? Huh. Um, I wouldn't personally trust a mole with my accounting, mostly because I feel like moles are very bad at reading overall, but, you know, I, I don't I don't judge. I, I do judge a bit, but, you know. Okay, I judge a lot, but at the same time, you know, moles and accounting, not so much. Doesn't appear that there's anything down here. I think we have to head this way. Hey, guys, how's it going? I'm pretty sure you're all blind, so why are you even turning towards me? Jeez. Oh, that is almost definitely the guy we were sent to meet. Um, hello, terrible thing. Rolling boulders! I hear the shouting from all the way out here. Mm, Mr. Badini caught you red-hooved, did he? Well, I mean, I didn't actually do anything. Still plenty of gems for you to find in the mines, and the vault needs refilling one way or the other. Day shifts already started. You better get down below. Okay, bye! That wasn't very nice. Look, I would have gone without getting knocked over. Oh, can we move the camera? Huh. Well, there appears to be a gem up there, so if we just uh, push that and potentially just dig our way through here. Are, are we not at risk of being killed by sand? I feel like we're not actually at risk of being killed by sand. No, we seem actually perfectly safe in terms of the whole sand debacle. So that is quite nice, actually. Um, 
But where does that leave us? Because I feel like we haven't succeeded at actually getting anywhere with that. Um, any form of other push maneuvers we can have? Oh, we can just dig through that block. Nice. I mean, I didn't think that we were capable of digging through boxes because that seems... I mean, in saying that, we d do dig through, like, legitimate stones, so I'm pretty sure we're capable of digging through basically anything we ever want to dig through, which kind of helps just, just a little bit. Oh, my word. Run, run, run. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, wait. Nice. So we can get up here. I wonder how many gems we actually have to pick up. Any uh, menus to tell us? No. Not in the slightest. Oh, can we not go this way? It doesn't appear that we're actually allowed to go off the edge of the screen. Okay. So the edge of the screen is the edge of all of existence, and uh, our little boar friend is going to have to keep that in mind. What can we do then? Oh. Okay, we can get uh, absolutely destroyed by not pushing a block properly. Very good. Uh, I feel like that's a pretty standard maneuver. Okay, so what we want now is to make a little stairwell out of this, I would imagine. And then get for ourselves that gem over there, because I don't know about you, but I am all about being a capitalistic boar with n nothing better to do than um, the capturing of every gem in existence. Plus, you know, um, there is a terrible person up there who says... But apparently I stole things from him, although I argue that no such thing has occurred. What is this? Personal log researcher Brown. Initial findings, but there are some anomalies I'd like to see explained. The whole damn thing is barely understood. I mean, these taps nearly undermine our current understanding of physics. Can we believe what we see? Curiosity is a good trait for a scientist, but digging deeper without understanding the basis of our observations is a recipe for disaster at worst. Empty promises at best. Okay, so there's something sketchy going on down here, which I assume we're going to have to look into at some point, because that's just how games generally work. Um, oh. Huh. What can we do here? Okay, I see. Um, we'll have to, of course, uh, figure out what sort of scientific uh, things are going on down here. Why? I'm not 100% certain. I'm pretty sure it's not actually going to get us any additional money, but, you know. That's just how it goes. Um, generally, digging deeper is just the uh, standard mode of existence for games like this. So that's how we're going to do it. Even though, as has been proven by dwarves over and over again, digging deeper is not always a good idea, actually. Huh. Why did we do that? Huh. Well, we made, we made that box, and I don't know why I brought that box down, but I'm sure there was a good reason for it at some point. Um, no promises. Can we get that fossil? That fossil looks awesome. I really want it. Give me a fossil! Oh, my word, we can't have it. I mean, I don't know how to get it. I'm apparently a very poor, um, uh, ineffective boar when it comes to trying to get up vertical cliffs, but then again, I feel like most boars are actually bad at getting up vertical cliffs. Not very many creatures are actually properly designed for vertical cliffs. Oh, hello. Oh, a new worker, and it looks like Dean didn't give you a mapper. Oh, we get a map? Guess I'm not surprised. Uh, we have been short on supplies lately. Ho hold up. I think I've got... Uh, mm -mm. Yes, yes, here you go. It's, it's a bit different than mine, but it'll do in a pinch. Oh. Huh. Um, how do we use it? Why don't you have a look now? Um, uh, mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Be what the heck? Look at these maps. Oh my, these are actually really elaborate maps. And I'm kind of fine with that. That's cool. Okay, so we went from the vault to Gulbunishti's office, to the surface, down to the sand silo, and to the dig site. But it appears there's no um, indication of the places we came from originally. I wouldn't expect any more. 
I don't know how it works, I don't care much, but that widget there will map everything, yeah, uh, yeah, they'll map out everywhere you go. Mm, okay, I, I, me I messed up his uh, voice line for just a second, but you know, I, I, I think I brought it back. I would say my acting skills are uh, par excellence, as one might say. Mm, mm, no, they're, they're like, they're like okay at best. I mean, to say any better than okay is con concerning. We have a slam ability. What was the slam ability? I can't even remember. Oh, it was X. Huh. Okay, well, there's nothing to slam there. We are down in the depths of a place without perhaps any proper knowledge of how to deal with said depths. Um, yeah, I would definitely call this a terrible understanding of how to deal with the depths that we've fallen into. Anything here? Oh. Standard stomp ability. Perfect. And what is that? Oh. I see. It's some form of... I guess platform maker? Which is pretty cool. I like that. Okay. Well. Uh... For now, that will bring us to the end of this, as this has been full bore, and we have attempted to be a bore. I would say, in the uh, ranking of trying to be a bore, we have succeeded, um, at least partially, in the art of bo bo boring. Boring? I don't know. What what is the what is the action of being a bore? Is it just being a bore? No, it is. Uh, Boring it is definitely boring. Anyway, it doesn't matter. That's not important. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, like and subscribe. This is full bore. We didn't get a ton of a look at it, but it does appear to be quite interesting. It is a puzzle platformer with only according to what I've heard um, some Metroidvania elements to it, which personally, I don't know if y you know this, but I... I'm a sucker for Metroidvania basically on any mark, so you know that's that's kinda just it's it's already sold itself, so there you go. What the heck? What am I doing right now? I don't even know anyway. Thanks for watching and of course, as always, enjoy the rest of your day.